Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very, very exciting topic. I'm going to give you three things, bad and good, that uh, shocked me in Poland. As some of you know, I am Polish, but I was born in Sweden and lived uh, all my life until adulthood. Then I moved to Poland and um, even though I'm Polish, there are things in Poland that are still uh, irritating and shocking me both in a good and bad ways. Uh, so I think this is going to be a very interesting video for you. Before I start, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell. It really helps and supports my channel and I will greatly appreciate it. My first video on this channel was actually me speaking about uh, four things that I miss about Sweden while living in Poland and four things I would miss about Poland if I were to live in Sweden. And it's actually one of my most viewed videos so you should definitely go and check it out. And this is a continuation on that subject. There are of course some obvious reasons uh, <clears throat> that you may be shocked by as a foreigner. The food in general, the culture, the language, but I'm going to speak about things that are still shocking to me. Even though I lived here for quite a long time, I am Polish, uh, my origins are Polish, so they are shocking. So, let's start with three bad negative things that still surprise me and shock me while living in Poland for the last 10 years and while being Polish myself. They surprise me in a bad way, still. So, number one thing that still shocks me in Poland is uh, sometimes the rudeness and indifference in uh, public offices, uh, public institutions, uh, departments, anything that, that is more complicated, you know, not as simple uh, going to the post office and uh, sending a letter or picking up a letter uh, or anything like that, but if it's anything more complicated and uh, not in every public office, not in every public institution, but in many people there who are supposed to help you fill in in different forms and documents and stuff like that, they can be very rude and indifferent. I've had a few of those unpleasant situations uh, in the last years. Even though I am Polish, I am not a foreigner, I know the language, I know everything, but still sometimes they have a very unpleasant matter, they are not helpful. I had a situation uh, when I had to fill in a form and uh, the lady at the desk didn't want to help me and she would just say that all the instructions are over there and I would go and read the instructions and didn't understand anything and I would go back to her all the instructions are over there and it would go on like that. There are still ladies and gents who are unpleasant in public institutions and uh, downright rude unfortunately. And on top of being rude, they um, complain a lot, Polish people. They are rude in the institutions and they complain about everything. It's a nation of complaints. Uh, not everyone, of course, and there are some positive people, but in general, there's this negative mindset and it's difficult to, to not get affected by it. A lot of people have a negative, uh, lacking mindset. They don't have enough, everything is bad. Yes, maybe it's it is, but you still need to be positive and that is what is lacking here in Poland and they complain, Polish people complain way too much. The second thing that surprises me in a negative way here in Poland is the bureaucracy and the lack of information between departments, institutions, offices. It ties um, back to the first thing that I talked about and it's um, if you're applying for something, if you're filling in some documents, anything you need, you know, all the things that, that you need in life, the documents, applications and so on, you can go to one desk and be sent to another and the third one and still something is missing or you're applying for something and you know it will not be enough uh, but you don't know what is missing because no one told you and no one knows until someone knows and tells you. 
and then you have to apply again. It's very irritating, very tiring and uh, maybe these are remnants uh, from communism but the bureaucracy is still quite strong in Poland. Not everywhere of course, not with everything. There are smaller things that can be solved very easily, that you just apply and it's fixed <laughs> immediately. But sometimes you encounter stairs that you have to climb in order to get the document you need. And the third thing that irritates me and shocks me here in Poland is the fact that Polish people eat so much pork. I'm not used to it and I am of course having a different cuisine uh, at my home here. But in general, if you go to a Polish bar, Polish restaurant, almost if not all the meat on the menu is going to be made of pork. It's a pork eating country. And uh, I personally eat a lot of veal and uh, turkey, other kinds of meat if I eat meat. But it's very difficult to find here. If you want meat in a Polish restaurant or bar, you will certainly uh, get, get it made of pork. And uh, in the beginning I couldn't find minced uh, veal meat here in Poland, only minced pork meat. So I would buy turkey meat instead. I do believe that in other countries it is much more common to eat veal and and so on, lamb and so on, but here pork is the most famous and the loved and in a Polish traditional family you will have pork for a Sunday dinner and many other days of the week as well and you will eat some pork sausages for breakfast and so on. Something which I am not used to even though I'm Polish and I was brought up on a different cuisine and it's not healthy. So. Let's talk about the three things that are pleasantly shocking here in Poland, even for me, that you get pleasantly surprised by. So, number one thing that is very pleasantly surprising here in Poland, even for me, is uh, that people are very religious. I knew it, it was one of the reasons why I moved from Sweden to Poland. I didn't want to live in an atheistic country. But still, uh, seeing so many young people in the churches, uh, seeing people making the sign of the cross before they eat and other things, just not being ashamed of faith, it's wonderful. Poland is Catholic, most of you probably know that, and uh, the faith is strong here. Of course, uh, many young people are not religious any longer, as all over the world, but uh, the percentage is still much higher in Poland than in other countries. And uh, that is something that I still am pleasantly surprised by. And when I remember how it was, uh, for example, in Sweden, and I know in most of other European countries, yeah, it's a relief and uh, joy to be here for that reason alone. Second thing that is a pleasant shock in Poland is the stunning nature and wildlife. If you have been following my channel for some time, uh, you would have seen my videos and vlogs from different parts of Poland. You would have seen some amazing, beautiful nature, landscapes, uh, forests. Um, I will link some of those below and also up here. I made a video about Zakopane, Białowieża, Lasy Mirachowskie recently, uh, where we wild camped uh, beautiful places. And even though I'm Polish and I came here for summer vacations while I lived in Sweden, I didn't know there are so many beautiful places. I knew of course about Kraków, Zakopane, but there are so many other. It's true that Poland is crowded, we have a lot of people here, we don't have as much greenery as you who are living for example in US have. You're so spoiled, I am so jealous of all the national parks and the hikes uh, and the amazing nature you have in um, North America, for example, or Ireland. <laughs> but we do have here in Poland some beautiful places, even here in Warsaw. You can check out my Warsaw countryside vlog. 
I encounter uh, wild boars here around my area and other animals. I've seen deers, uh, I've, seen, uh, I've seen a beaver, I've seen so many animals, it's amazing. So um, you might only think about Kraków or Auschwitz or uh, something else when you think about Poland, uh, but truly there are some beautiful, uh, peaceful places here and that is amazing. Third wonderful thing that surprises me here in Poland is the openness of Polish people. I am sure this depends on where you are from. There are many uh, countries that are open and, and hospitable, but if you are from the northern part of Europe, from UK, uh, Germany, Scandinavia and so on, uh, you will be pleasantly surprised by the openness and the easiness in which you can form a relations. I'm not talking about making friends but um, just being able to talk about different things in your workplace, to have different opinions. There's a lot of censorship in Scandinavia. I talked about it in that first video that I've made which I already mentioned which will be linked below uh, that you're not allowed almost to have a different opinion here. Here we have some sorts of freedom in spite of everything. You can say, you can speak what is on your mind and there are not not going to be repercussions for it. And for example in Sweden there could be. And uh, that's a freedom, that's a relief. I am sure there are countries like that, especially southern countries, uh, maybe in the US, but it's a very pleasant surprise. It still shocks me in a very nice way. So these were my three negative and positive things that uh, shock me here in Poland and I hope you enjoyed this, it was informative, I hope you learned something new and got a new perspective and uh, give me a big like if you enjoyed this video and give me a comment below. I'm interested to hear your opinions. Maybe you have a different perspective. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!